Hello there guys and welcome, it is Aniran here and today it is time for me to welcome you to a very, very important video because today I'm going to be giving you guys the chance to vote on the team that I use in my very first FIFA 17 career mode. I'm planning around about four series when it comes to career mode across the total game cycle of the game but you guys are going to be directly voting for which team I use in my first career mode which will hopefully start on EA Early Access as soon as that comes out. In the description there will be a straw poll including five sort of mid to lower BPL clubs as I usually do for my first career mode to try and change their fortunes from a mid table struggling maybe to stay in the league team to hopefully getting into Europe in later seasons. So in the description there will be that straw poll but I'm going to guide you through the five teams quickly and uh, guide you through maybe what I have to change if I was to do a career mode with them who I would sign perhaps. We'll go over stuff like that but obviously the straw poll is in the description to so make sure that you vote for the team that you want me to use in this first career mode of FIFA 17. Now as I mentioned I'm probably going to be doing about four career modes through the game cycle of FIFA. Don't worry they won't all be this type of team. I'm going to be doing a road to glory with a lower league team and hopefully towards the end of the game cycle I'll use a bigger team as well. So I'll try and mix that up and vary that up. But only for this first career mode will I be using a mid sort of table BPL team. And the first choice that you have is Bournemouth. The team that we use massively on FIFA 16 given their story. But I thought you know what I I might as well put them in the vote for FIFA 17 because they've got some young and exciting players the likes of Max Gradel, Callum Wilson, Benica Fobe, Jordan Ibe who of course they just signed from Liverpool. Perhaps their goalkeeper and defence needs a little bit of work, maybe that's what I would try and strengthen if I was to do a career mode with those guys. But obviously their story is amazing coming from League 2 and the, the verge of going out of business to suddenly being in the Barclays Premier League and of course staying up last season and doing a very good job at that as well. So that's your first choice. Your second choice is Middlesbrough. Who were, who were promoted, sorry, this season, not relegated, they were promoted to the Barclays Premier League. This is their first season in the BPL since, I do believe, 2010. So it's been quite some time since they were in the top tier of English football. Again, a team with some okay players. Victor Fischer, you may have heard of, a bit of a career mode gem, signed from Ajax, the Danish youngster. He'd probably be the main player in the squad. And for those OG subscribers, obviously a career mode with Middlesbrough would mark a reunion with Stuart Downing, who was so good in our FIFA 15 West Ham career mode. And obviously some other good players, Victor Valdez, Jordan Rhodes, Alvaro Negredo, Albert Adoma. Uh, there's some good players in that squad. Still a lot of work to do. But uh, a lot of you guys on Twitter were saying I should use them, so maybe that is going to be a popular option. So, so far we've got Bournemouth and we've got Middlesbrough. The third option is Hull City, a team that would be a massive challenge. Barely any first team players, but they still had the heart to go and beat the reigning champions Leicester in the first BPL game of the season. That would be, again, as I said, a massive challenge because at the moment they've only got 13 fit outfield senior players so a team with basically no depth whatsoever I'd have to try with minimal funds probably on the game uh, to guide them to success through buying very cheap players and hopefully guiding them to success it'd be almost like a mini road to glory actually if we chose them so that's hold your third option the fourth option is Crystal Palace a team that's been in these votes for about two years now uh, the previous two FIFAs and they're in it again uh, some more exciting young players. By this time, Yannick Balassi may have been sold. At the time I'm commentating this video, he's still a Crystal Palace player, but I'm fully expecting him to go to Everton. But still, the likes of Wilfred Zaha and uh, other players like that. In terms of strikers, they may need a little bit of work, it has to be said. Obviously, they signed Steve Mondonda as well as a goalkeeper. But yeah, some fairly young and exciting players then at Crystal Palace. That might, that might be quite an interesting one. And then finally, we have got Watford. Again, a team with some decent players, sort of lower down the division towards, or sort of slash mid-table. Uh, the likes of Odin Igalo and Troy Deeney really impressing last season. Uh, but in terms of midfield, maybe a slightly ageing squad when it comes to career mode. Maybe a lot of work to do there. So those are your five options. Of course, there is a straw poll in the description for you guys to vote on. So make sure that you vote for the team you would like me to start my first FIFA 17 career mode with. But that is about it from me. You don't have to like, you don't have to like the video, sorry, uh, because it was more informational. But you can if you want. Make sure to share, though, with your mates, because obviously there's going to be FIFA 17 content coming. And uh, I'd love to see some new guys on the channel. If you are a new guy, then make sure to subscribe for FIFA 17 content, obviously, in the future. And comment about enjoying the video if you enjoyed it that much. But it's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a great day. Enjoy yourselves. 
and choose wisely for my FIFA 17 career mode first team.